Hi, this video is going to cover our product requests page. Click on inventory, click on product request. This product request page consists of products that were pushed from your proposal into your project and then requested. On this page, you can see here each is sorted by project that you can filter down by using our search bar up top. Columns consist of the brand, the model, the product type on how it was pushed from the proposal, or if you did a one-off from the project. You can see your on hand, what's requested, what's been queued, what's been ordered, what's been allocated, and what's still needed. Over on the menu, some options that you can go through and add your product are add to PO queue. So any items that you want to highlight for that project, you can hold control to select those products. Or if you're grabbing a bigger selection, if you hold control on the first product and then hold shift, you can grab the entire selection of products. We'll go here and sort by a project that we're looking for. You can see here it filters down by just this project. From the menu, you can also go ahead and create a purchase order for any items that are, that are needed. You can add to a purchase order that you already, already created. You can delete any of these requested items. And once you're done with getting all your on hands in stock and then allocating, you can fulfill and request that transfer over into a work order. Going into a product, you can see here what's needed and what's on hand. We do have for this Sony one on hand for it, so we'll go ahead and click on the product. This will allow you to manage that product. You can see here we have ordered is at zero, requested one. We can go here to allocation. And we do have one, it'll show you where it's located. You can then assign the quantity and then click on allocate. So once you take a look at this, you can see now this line is checked off that it's complete, ready to be fulfilled over into a work order. So at any point you can go back if any items need to be deallocated just go ahead and click on that product. Click on allocation. And this allows you to deallocate that item. So once everything is closed, you can now see it's back to needed one. Thank you for watching our product requests page.